Want to see something cool? We touched on voltage a while back. Ah! God! Damn! I think he got hit. <laughs> All right, goes right up the arm. So now it's time to learn just what a volt is. The volt is a unit of electric potential named after the Italian badass Alessandro Volta. The first thing I'm going to teach you is how to write it, because nobody ever bothers to do that, and it'll bother you for years if I don't. Since it's named after a person, that means it's capital V when it's a one-letter symbol. When it's written in full as volt or voltage, though, it's only capitalized at the start of the sentence like any other common noun. This is true of any units that are named after people. One volt is the electrical potential between two points when one amp of current dissipates one watt of power. If this is starting to smell like Ohm's law, then you're on the right track, but we'll get to that later. If we really want to science this shit, one volt is a potential difference that'll give one joule of energy per coulomb of charge moving through it. There's lots of other ways to express a volt, things like joules per coulomb. We'll get to that when we talk about Project Thumper. or Weber's per second when we get fluxing around with EMP fun, or even back to Ohm's law with amps times ohms. If a lot of that doesn't really make sense to you yet, that's okay. At this stage, we're just learning the names of the pieces. Next, we'll learn how they move. But these are the very first step towards you throwing lightning bolts in your backyard and making friends with all your neighbors. And that's pretty cool. 